So they showed two different types of inhibition. They have competitive and non-competitive. Competitive inhibition can be important when we're designing drugs because one way of blocking from outside the body uh, the functioning of specific enzymes is by putting something into the body that will preferentially interact with an enzyme and keep it from interacting with its normal substrate. Within the body, the control of enzyme functioning often occurs in a non-competitive manner, and this is something known as allosteric inhibition. And what we have here is our enzyme, and we have the active site of the enzyme, and we have substrate goes in, is converted into product, comes out, and we can block that catalytic process, typically by blocking um, binding to the substrate, by having an inhibitor. But here, the inhibitor is binding to a place on the protein, on the enzyme, other than the active site. And so imagine there's, in a sense, an active site equivalent someplace else on the enzyme. It's very specific for the inhibitor. When that active site equivalent binds to a specific inhibitor molecule, that causes a change, in a sense, an induced fit of the enzyme, that change, the shape, change in shape of the enzyme is propagated to the enzyme all the way to the active site and causes the active site to change in shape in some way, such that the active site is no longer functional. And this is reversible because the binding of the inhibitor is reversible. So when the inhibitor is bound, the enzyme doesn't work, and when the inhibitor is not bound, the enzyme now works again.